Hello there and welcome to GCSE English. We're just looking at how to use apo apostrophes accurately. So first of all, possessive pronouns. So possessive pronouns do not need apostrophes to show ownership, such as my, his, hers, ours, theirs, yours, and its does not require an apostrophe. So for example, the computer is hers, no apostrophe required. The house is theirs, the watch is mine, the bag is yours. So there's no need for any apostrophes here. However, apostrophes of ownership for one person or thing, you can place an apostrophe. So if there is a single owner, place the apostrophe before the S. So for example, Tim's video player. So Tim's will have an apostrophe just before the S. You have Christine's house. You can place an apostrophe just before Christine and just before the S. And the sun's rays, so place an apostrophe just before the S. Apostrophes of ownership for more than one owner. So if there is more than one owner, you need to put the apostrophe after the S to show that you mean a plural owner. So for example, the Jackson's video. So here we know that there is more than one Jackson in the Jackson family. That's why you place the apostrophe after the S. So the Jackson's apostrophe video. The Smith's apostrophe house. That means you're talking about more than one person called Smith. And you always put the apostrophe after the S. So if there's more than one owner, please place the apostrophe after the S. So if a person's name naturally ends in S, you can do one of two things. So you have two choices here. So James's haircut. So you can place an apostrophe after the S and then place another S afterwards. Or James's haircut and just put an apostrophe after the S in the word James. Or the Jones's house. So again, Jones being a surname, J-O-N-E-S place an apostrophe and then put another S at the end. So that would be the Jones's house, James's haircut, and a James's haircut again with an apostrophe at the end of the S, okay? So whichever style you go for in this case, stick with it because readers and markers like you to remain consistent. So in one piece of writing, there's no point using two different types of apostrophes in this example always remain consistent because it'd be easier to mark in this case if a plural noun does not need an s to make it plural you should place your apostrophe before the s so for example the men's business venture so that means there's more than one man so it's men but you place the apostrophe before the s the children's playground so you can put the apostrophe before the s the women's society place the apostrophe before the S. Remember, we're talking about more than one woman here. The people's champion. So again, uh, you put the apostrophe there. Expression. You can vary your expression by using an apostrophe. So the clause of the cat becomes the cat's clause. So the apostrophe goes before the S because there's one cat. But there are more than one claw. So there's more than one clause. So the apostrophe goes after the S with an apostrophe. So you can kind of vary it as you go along. So if you're not actually particularly sure of where to put in a possessive apostrophe, then write your sentence along way around. So Dan's new house becomes the new house of Dan. And you can restructure the sentence in this case. Let's have a look at apostrophes that shorten words. So these are called contractions. So combine contractions combine two words into one with an apostrophe. So let's have a look at some examples. So for example, I am, if you contract the word, then you stick an apostrophe between I and M, so that becomes I'm. Does not becomes doesn't, and the apostrophe goes between the N and the T. Cannot becomes can't, the apostrophe goes between N and T, and so on and so on. So you can use various examples of apostrophes in different scenarios and different examples, different situations. But you just have to remember where the apostrophe goes with which particular example in this case. Have a go at the rest of the questions for some extra practice and I'll see you very soon. Take care.